All right, guys, we're going to get going on our uh, workout explanation for today. Um, we have two parts, all right? We have a part A and then a part B, all right? I'm going to kind of just go over part A um, pretty quickly, and then we're going to break it down a little bit, all right? Um, how this one is going to work, is we're going to have a 75-second clock counting down, all right? Um, you're going to hold a bear plank for 45 seconds, and then at that 45 second mark, you're going to do max calories on the skier or on the rower, all right? For the remainder of the time, there will be 30 seconds. And then you're going to alternate between row and ski between rounds, okay? So rest two minutes after you do that piece, and then uh, we're gonna again do that for four rounds total. Score is total calories for four rounds there. All right, so whenever you get off the ski or the row, make sure that you are um, writing down your calories there so you can um, input it later in the computer. Um, so how this class is going to flow, how this workout right here is going to go, um, is we're going to uh, split up into uh, three groups here, two groups of seven and a group of six. Um, so the two groups of seven are going to start together here on that bear plank. As soon as they're done with that bear plank, 45 seconds is up, they're moving on to the row in the ski, all right? One group goes to row, one group goes to ski. Or to ski. Um, and then they're going straight to the rest after that 30 seconds is up, all right? Once they get to the rest, then that group of six is going to move on to that plank and start there around there, okay? So it's just gonna keep going like that um, until we're, hit, we're hitting all four rounds there. Okay, so as far as each movement goes in this, um, with the bear plank, uh, this one should be pretty straightforward. Um, just try to keep a pretty tight core and the majority of your uh, weight there kind of you know, shift over your hands there, right? You don't wanna be too far behind or too far in front there, all right? Just kind of right above your palms there is a good place to be. Um, for the ski, uh, just make sure you're getting nice long strokes all the way down. Uh, and then for the rower, kind of the same thing. You just don't want to be shortchanging yourself on that row and just getting little quick pulls, all right? Get big pulls, get the most bang for your buck um, out of each row, okay? Um, so that's part A there. Uh, if you guys have any questions on that, let me know. If you need any kind of scaling options or anything, uh, need to use a different implement other than the row or the ski, uh, we can totally accommodate and change things up. All right, so moving on to part B here, we got a workout called DB. It is a 18 minute AMRAP, um, and it's going to consist of row, ski, toes to bar, and then a little surprise of heavy wall balls. Okay, um, so we're going to be doing um, starting here, uh, 14 calories for the guys and 10 calories for the ladies there on the row or the ski. Um, and then as soon as you finish that, you are going directly to those uh, toes to bar, all right, for three reps to start with. After those three reps are complete, you're going back to the row or ski. 14 again for guys, 10 for the ladies, all right? Exact same rep scheme there. Um, and then this time on the toes to bar, it is going up three reps, all right? That's going to be the theme throughout this. We're just going to be holding the same on the row and the ski and then going up by three on the toes to bar, okay? Um, the part where we're going to be including the med ball on this is going to be any time you break on the toes to bar. So say you're on this set of nine here, you stop at five toes to bar, and then you drop. And then you're going to be going immediately to your med ball and knocking out 10 um, heavy wall ball shots. Okay. As soon as your 10 wall ball shots are finished, then you're going back and finishing out your set of toes to bar before moving on to that next set there of um, either a row or a ski. Okay, um, score for this workout is going to be uh, your total number of toes to bar accumulated. Okay, so you're gonna calculate as far as you got at the end, and then that is going to be your score. All right, um, 
As far as uh, scaling options go for this, um, everybody should be good on the uh, row and ski, um, but toast bar is where it gets a little bit trickier because that is a you know higher level skill there. All right, so uh, if you need to scale this, a great scale for this would be um, you know knees to uh, elbow or knees to chest. Uh, we can also go to the ground and do a V up. We can do sit-ups, um, plenty of options, guys. If you guys, you know, need to scale beyond that or just need to get a completely different scale because those don't work, um, just hit me up, you know, sometime before we start this workout and we'll get it squared away. Um, one more thing logistically, guys, uh, this class is going to flow a lot better um, if we get at least uh, six volunteers to do the ski throughout. All right, six volunteers do the ski throughout and then the rest will be on the row throughout the workout. Okay, so um, if you guys, you know, are so inclined to do the ski, you know, if you would prefer that or you just want to, you know, change it up because you've been doing a lot of rowing recently or whatever, um, then do the ski today and that would be awesome. All right, everyone else, we got the rower. That's another great implement and um, that'll give us a great workout. Okay, so again, that's kind of, you know, lay a land for today, uh, what we're gonna be working on for the next little bit here. And if you guys have any questions um, before we get started with A, and then after that, before B, uh, let me know and uh, we'll get you squared away. All right, guys, let's get going.